only win. Hey, every day a Wednesday. Let's start things off like we always do with our game of uh, the week. We're heading to Welsh to do it over in Greyhound country. Welsh playing host to the Saints of St. Louis. It was an important game for both as the district season starts real soon. We knew defense would be a deciding factor in this hard-nosed affair. Just we thought maybe it'd be on both sides. TDL Game of the Week is sponsored by Gordon McKernan. Get Gordon. Get it done. All right, to the home of the Hounds we go. First battle between St. Louis and Welsh in 13 years. First drive, it was Landon Broussard. A beautiful dime to Austin Van Ness for the first down, but the drive would end up stalling. St. Louis forcing a turnover on downs in the play. Then the Saints would go to work. Cooper Miller dropping back. That's Jaded Johnson across the middle. Takes the ball to the Welsh 10. A couple of plays later, we talked about this man, the big boy, Evan Joe Bear. He's having a heck of a year on the ground. Finishes the drive here. Saints going up seven to nothing on the score. Next, Greyhound drive. Broussard rolling out, and this is not what you want to have happen. He drops back and throws it. That's Jawan Seymour, the pick. Nice return as he puts the Saints in business. Next play, Welsh native. Miller going up top, Chase Wilson. He caught the game winner last week, catching the one that put him up 14-0 here. Walsh, though, would fumble on their next possession. Jobert finding the end zone again. The eight-yard scamper would give St. Louis a 20-point lead. They would uh, go up 23-0 at the half as they would roll in this one, 37-0. We'll stay out in Walsh. Our Gabe McDonald has more from the game of the week. Guys, it just wasn't Welsh's day, and St. Louis proved why you don't play games on paper. Many believe this would be one of those low-scoring slugfests, but that wasn't the case, as the Saints used their strong ground attack to get out to an early lead in their shutout win over the Greyhounds. I think it was key. We got some turnovers early, and we were able to take advantage of that and capitalize on it, which helped out with a quick start. Uh, early on, the first drive, we went three and out, but then we settled down, stayed patient. Leading the way on the ground once again for the Saints was junior running back Evan Joe Bear. He found the end zone three different times in this ball game to up his total to nine scores on the ground for the season. At first, they were getting there, they were filling the holes, but then I went back, I talked to the line, we seen what they were doing, the scheme they was running, and then we started finding our way to maneuver and get more yards. The old line did great. I mean, we ran this one play that we ran against uh, Kinder, and it worked. It works every time. I love it. I love my line. They do their job. I do my job. We get wins. The Saints will look to keep hitting teams in the mouth on the ground and force turnovers when needed next week as they'll take on Church Point in one final game before starting district play. At your service in Welsh, Gabe McDonald, KPLC 7 Sports. All right, I'm sure Welsh will bounce back. It's a proud program. Uh, they stacked that, that non-district slate out. I wouldn't be surprised if they went into the playoffs with a losing record just to uh, kind of roll once they kind of get, okay. it, get the ball going. We'll see ultimately how they do. A lot of
What we do here is go back, 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 back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. <laughs>